Hey, what's going on, y'all? I just want to talk about uh, last night's uh, Eddie Griffin special. You can tell him I said it. I thought it was a, a great welcome back for Eddie Griffin doing stand-up. Even though he haven't gone anywhere, he just always going on tour. It was just uh, the first time in, what, a decade or so that we actually seen a stand-up special actually air on TV. And it was really cool because he one of my favorite comedians, you know. And so uh, I thought it was both funny and motivational, you know. So, um... A couple of jokes he was saying, you know, about the Christian. Cause I'm a Christian, too, and I know he is, too. But, you know, I didn't get offended, y'all. I know it's all just jokes at the end of the day. Because comedians, you know, they that, that's what they're supposed to do, y'all. Tell jokes and make us laugh. I don't feel offended. And like you said, I bet God has a sense of humor, too. So, yeah, you know, sometimes us as Christians got to get over things, you know. So, uh, just like South Park. South Park makes fun of every religion. You know, ain't like South Park say, you know, ain't nobody safe. So, yeah, it is what it is, y'all. But uh thing that, that stuck me the most was um what he said about the Starbucks thing, about uh you know, um you know, about us being black or whatever, you know, being black students and being young as as being young black youth, um young African American youth, you know, how people expect us, you know, more than people, I mean non black people expect us, you know, to fuck up basically and, you know, pull out a gun or any kind of weapon like, ah, we got your ass. But he said pull out that book, like a comic book or a novel or something and be at a Starbucks or a Barnes and Noble or something. He was like, I'll confuse the shit out their ass like Damn. We can't even get him. Like, yeah. He was like, I, I was like laughing because he was like, yeah, wait till they make that illegal. Then all hell going to break loose. So, yeah, y'all, you know, the mind, you know, it's a terrible thing to waste. So, yeah. Over and all, I give it a five out of five. You know, the whole standard special. My thing, the only bad part was it was only, it's only one showing because, you know, I clicked on DirecTV, you know, for some more showings because I wanted to watch it again. But it, that was like the only time it's showing. But the DVD that comes out, like, comes out this month, I think. On Tuesday, February 22nd. So I'm definitely going to cop that. And y'all should too, you know. So, um, I, you know, I love Cat Williams as much as the next guy. But it could it wouldn't hurt to show a back-to-back. Uh, uh, you can tell him I said it again right after the first showing. So, you know, it ain't my channel. I, I don't run things over there. I ain't no floor director down there. So can't really do nothing. Uh, other than that, uh, shout out to Eddie, Eddie Griffin. He hit me up on Twitter. You know, he's following me on Twitter. So that's a blessing. You know, one of my favorite comedians follow me. You know, not a lot of people could say that. So thank y'all. And thank you, Eddie Griffin. And God bless you, man. And uh, God bless y'all this Sunday. Peace.